But before I dive into any of this, make sure y'all pull up to shop StephenHight.com. Anytime you see your boy rocking some drip that you rocking with, man, pull up to the site, find something like I got you. Please like the video too, man. Like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you think you're subscribed to the channel because YouTube be on that bullshit. And uh, subscribe if you with me. Subscribe. Um, but apparently, fresh CEO got a thotty pregnant and is telling her to abort the kid. Um, it's pretty much all I know. Uh, and just that whole narrative goes against what Fresh and Fit puts out, which doesn't surprise me, dog. Which doesn't surprise me. Um, but I want to know more before I even speak on it. Being a deadbeat dad is such a crazy thing to me. That guilt don't weigh on your mind. You don't. You don't feel like a bitch. Uh, hold on. Look. If so, as I say, not as I do, as a person. So I'm saying. Um, dude is in his thirties and doesn't want children. What's wrong with the world? Crazy. If you don't want kids with her, then don't be fucking her. Simple. Here we go. Like Fresh and Fit podcast. Fresh gets exposed after a call gets leaked, where he's asking his girl for an abortion. All right, so let's 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 see. I want the baby because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No, no, I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretending like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. You know? Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you going to deal with this? By by saying, I don't want a baby? That's all? I mean... I can go to the, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor? So you want... I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? That's something like, there's no way that that's true, but then it's like, oh wow, like... So just think about it, it's mean to be. God Sorry? wants to, God I... wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is, God wants you to have a baby, seven years never happened. And then you're relate in a relate you're f me for a month, and I'm pregnant. What does that mean? Well, like it, it now, I just think about if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you are a sin. Well, we already sinned by having sex, but it's too late now, you know. But honestly, <laughs> I'm sitting here listening to this, thinking like how much I need to vet it because it could be some AI. But I don't think any. But I don't think fresh is that important for someone to come up with some AI to try to make him look like this and you could do things much worse than this with ai so it makes me think it's true because of that but then i know it's true because of how dumb he sounds <laughs> that's, that's how he talks but um it don't surprise me this should surprise anybody for that matter bro but uh you know definitely have to say the obvious is that yeah what what could i say in this fucking picture bro if if so, as I say, not as I do, was a person. But this is this isn't Fresh's first time being caught in a situation like this. Which, what happened to Fresh and Fit last time where they lost all those fucking subs? What do they do? Because they've gotten themselves in trouble a few times with their audience. Like, Mimeram was on some bullshit with the racist shit one time, but I remember they lost a hell of fucking subs. And I'm trying to think if it was because of Fresh with the sugar baby shit. Or something else. I can't remember what the fuck it was. Or no, Myron got caught up too with a bitch on some shit. So both of them have been caught up in not practicing what they're preaching. It makes me think about the audience and why they 
continue to support the channel as much as they do because you're essentially when when shit like this happens you're essentially seeing the the frauds promoting this message to you to capitalize off of it bro because if they're not doing what they're telling you to do they're lying to you right they're just capitalizing off of a fucking incel movement that needs to feel better about society right now like they can paint it pretty with this ribbon on put this ribbon on the same tree we're here to help men and get them right and all this shit man but are they really if they're if they're not doing what they're saying right and this isn't a one-off bro like this shit has happened a few times at this point by the looks of it let me see what's what's shawty's name like by the look of her and, and what she doing she look like you know a bitch you need to stay away from i don't want to put that on her right i don't i don't know shawty man but um if yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm being too goddamn nice. Fuck that. See, I'm trying to trying to see the good in people. If you look like that, first of all, if you look like that, it's a whole conversation, bro. The bad of the bitch, the bigger the headache, bro. She look like a fucking headache, dog. She look at she look like she out here trying to look for attention, right? And then what makes it worse is that you are letting fresh put the dick in and letting them nut and you fucking for a month. Why on earth are you fucking with fresh? Because of the clout, bro. So she's literally one of these. Like, ain't no if, ands, or buts about it, bro. Ain't no bitch on this earth that look like that is gonna fuck with a fresh if um she not looking at him as a come up. Ain't no fucking way. So, um, with that being said, y'all out here trying to put men on game to live the right way, get on your purpose, don't be nothing in these hoes, and you out here shooting the fucking clubs up, dog. You fucking lying to your fan base, bro. But I mean, he's he's doing what he needs to do, bro. He's not trying to have a baby. I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and uh assassinate him because he don't wanna have the fucking baby. Like I'd expect him to fucking do that, bro. But you, you shouldn't have placed yourself in that position in the first place, bro. Um, but that's just from this one conversation. Is there anything else I need to fucking see? Fresh from Fresh and Fit Exposed for encouraging girlfriend Daisy to abort their baby. This from the women are allergic to accountability crowd. Surprise, surprise. I'm not going to fucking sit here and kill him for wanting to get rid of the baby. He's doing what he's supposed to do. If you don't want to have a fucking baby, he's doing his best not to have the fucking baby, bro. But you fucking with the wrong bitches, you fucking idiot. And you sitting here nutting in... in Gold diggers, or whores, or whatever the fuck. Uh, here we go. You always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. I loved you when I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. I think I want to keep the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. I'll call you shortly. Take your time. Um, like I'm only I'm judging Shawty off the way she looked. I know what she said in that she was like, "What are you gonna do to me?" Like when she said that shit, that kind of like, what, "What are you talking about?" Like, why would you say that, right? And she's she's recording it and she's screenshotting it. So like the fact that she's doing all this shit just shows you who the fuck she is, bro. Because you putting all your shit out there, you putting all your shit out there for the world to see. So that confirms even more of the type of bitch you fucking with. You know what I'm saying? You place yourself in this this compromising position in the fucking first place. So I mean, all the fucking responsibility goes to Fresh. But once again, I'm not gonna fucking sit here and blame him for not wanting to have a fucking baby. But you are an idiot. You are the prime example of those who who you are talking to on a fucking channel, bro. Like, bro. <laughs> I, I like I said, it don't surprise me, but just. Saying it out loud sounds crazy as hell, dog. Even though Myron is the brains behind it, but you know, at this point, we years into it, bro. You would imagine some, at least some of that information and knowledge would have been absorbed by Fresh in some capacity, dog. But you're doing exactly what they say to not do on y'all shit, bro. Like, she's the epitome of the type y'all bring on a fucking channel and fucking destroy. And then you sitting here playing house with the bitch. <laughs> Bro, this shit funny as hell, dawg. Hold on. All right, let's do it. Uh, you always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. <laughs> Ooh, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. Well, she, I mean, she may be lying. She may be lying, dog. because she, she, she... But... Um, you always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. I loved you and I did everything 
to be a good girlfriend. Now this is happening. You walked away. I think I want to keep the baby. I don't want to kill alive. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. I'll call you shortly. Take your time. I can't have kids. Take responsibility for your actions, bro. Dog, I but then it's like it's like I know his little they little uh they little echo chamber, they little uh fresh and fit army is not going anywhere, bro. They they're gonna figure out they're going to appreciate this. You know what I'm saying? They're going they're they're going to admire the fact that he's like, nah, bitch, get rid of the fucking baby. When it totally contradicts everything that damn channel stands for. If what she's saying is true, I can't have kids. Take responsibility for your actions. One fifty-eight. What's this? Read it. Blood test. Pregnancy blood test. I know, but what does it mean? I don't understand the numbers. So she's three to four weeks. I don't fucking understand the numbers either. But she's saying she's three to four weeks. Fresh is oh, okay. It's our baby, and you want to kill our baby. You are not being a good human. It's not about that right now. It's not good and a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. I don't want kids right now and we spoke about it and you agreed. I never agreed. I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated? If you keep coming inside of me, I will get pregnant and don't get pregnant with and don't get pregnant without your behavior. Words mean nothing. Man up. I'm not saying I want to be with you. I don't because you are nothing to me, but the baby is innocent. <laughs> mm mm mm. You should have a kid with someone you are in love with and in the same household. It won't be what you expect. Man up. I'm telling you now so you know. I don't expect anything anymore since we are not together. I got pregnant with you when I was in your house and when I was in love. You wanted to have the baby. If you didn't, you did come in me with your own pleasure. Be logical and be a man. I don't get pregnant by myself. It's not fair for the baby. What are you saying? We are not together and won't be. Why would that be good for a kid? So why did you keep coming inside of me? Also, things happen and yes, feelings change, but bringing a kid into this world without both parents love is cruel. We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. Um, I, I would like to hear more of what Fresh has to say, because if he was under the impression that she couldn't get pregnant, then that's one thing. But um, I need to know more about this girl, dog. What is her name? This is her Instagram. I mean, her TikTok. I answer my phone at what's happening. Yeah, bro. Yeah, she, she. You gonna, you gonna have to pay up, dog. You just tell by this, bro. Like this is, this is what he. It's not wifey, bro. But of course, it's fresh, dog. He out here just splacking hoes. She know what the fuck she doing, bro. She got your ass, dog. She got your ass, motherfucker. She got your ass, bro. You gonna have to cut a check, homie. You have to cut that check, bro. Woof. Yeah, bro. You got you one now. I'm, I'm sure she was fun to play with, dog. But you kept busting those, and now look at the situation you find yourself in, bro. Mm 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 mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Apparently, Shawty has been doing interviews, bro. She been doing podcasts and shit, bro. You found you the one, dog. <laughs> Ain't that about a bit, bro? Like, damn, dog. <laughs> you know how to pick them, boy. You know how to pick them, boy. She screenshotting the conversations, posting them on social media. She recording the conversation. She doing interviews, talking about your ass, bro. She is goddamn flaming your ass, bro. Come on, what you talking about? Okay. Uh, this one other person here, I think, wants to ask you a couple of questions. Tree, you have questions Hi, for Daisy. Uh, for I Daisy just, here? I, I saw Hi. your message where you said you wanted to uh, help other women share the uh the information in reference to what he you know him using you um yeah. my I, I just read all of your dms so um it seems to me that and i just want you to go by your instincts it seems to me that he said he has four other women in order to get out of uh in order to 
get you to have an abortion or take the, the, the morning after, well, it's too late for the morning after pill. It seems like he's saying that to discuss you so that you can terminate the pregnancy. Do you really believe that he has other four women that he had unprotected sex with? I actually do because ju uh, one woman just texted me because she, she told me she was with him. She got invited from him to Miami on December. That's like we or that that time we already met, but that time I was in New York, but we we weren't official. So she said that she was invited to Miami and she was with him, and they used unprotect unprotectional. They had unprotectional sex. Okay. Yeah, and so Th that I, was only that was the one that was the only one girl you know that. Uh... That's the only girl because she liked my videos like days before and I found out she posted something that she was in Fresh Fresh's bedroom and I recognized that bedroom. So I asked Fresh, what is this? And he told me, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was with me for a few days. That was just for fun. So I was like, okay, because on December we weren't even together, you know. We just know each other. And did you ask if he had sex with her and if so I didn't have sexual. to ask she she stayed with him for three days obviously they had sex and he invited her you are a very I was admiring you I've been admiring you for a while and I've I've talked about how wonderful you look your beautiful banging body what is it that you saw in him because to me it appears to me physically that you're out of his league. So I guess I wanted to know, what did you see in him? Because we know what he that. saw in you. Yeah, I know. Um, what he sees me is, I know I'm not just only beautiful, because I'm kind. I was taking care of his mom when his mom was in town. Like, I was being very nice to everybody. All, all of his friends liked me. I have a good personality. I'm confident. Oh. I'm, I'm independent. So he sees me in that. Maybe he sees me in that. That that's my weakness. That's why he take advantage of that. But what I see from him is, this is my first time in the state. You know, everything was new for me. I met him. Mm -hmm. I was like, I wasn't planning to meet him. I wasn't planning for that. And then I went out with him one time. He was really fun, romantic. He knows exactly what I want. And. He just, he's very good at playing games. Uh, and he made. Cap. Cap, bro. Cap, dog. She saw a lick. She saw a lick, bro. I ain't trying to hear that shit, bro. She looked the way she looked, dog. She got, she got motherfuckers. She got motherfuckers after her, bro. Um, That was a lick. It was an easy come up, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Ooh. Uh, and you got clout, you got money, and you fucking me raw. Ooh, I take that. <laughs> I take that. Dumbass, fresh, bro. But like I said, it don't surprise me. Idiots are gonna do what idiots are gonna do, bro. It's just the fraud, the fraudness behind it, dog. And I know at the end of the day, this is not going to. It shows you the type of audience that they have, right? And I don't want to sit here and try to kill that, kill their channel, bro. Like they say a lot of fucking things that men need to hear, and that's what it is at the end of the day, man. But like authenticity and genuineness should matter, bro. Should matter, dog. It's like y'all people that still gonna feed into the bullshit they putting out. That's like, it's like listening to a, a murderer talking about. You shouldn't kill. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, bro? Y'all listening to a fucking dude try to put up this act, talking about don't do this, leave these hoes alone, just fuck them, recreational use only, and all this shit. And then come to find out, cuz trying to play house, nothing in hoes, talking about he want to be with them. It's simp behavior, bro. Simp behavior, dog. And that shit, shit like, it should matter, bro. But it just show you how much of a demand there is for a space like this for men pretty much to pull up to shit on women. And that's what it is at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, fresh and fit looking like clowns again. <laughs> I bet Myron like, man, god damn, motherfucker. How we gonna clean this shit up? Y'all will figure it out. <laughs> it don't even matter, bro. It don't even matter if y'all don't clean it up, bro. Y'all y'all, y'all rocking, bro. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't going nowhere, <laughs> bro. It's just, it's just another part of the narrative to uh, make this red pill shit look 
dumb as fuck. Um, hold on, let's, let's, I, I want to hear what else you got to say, though. Made it looks like real. It felt like real. <laughs> I, I still couldn't believe that he just... Is he the first serious like relationship you've been in? Like, is he the first, like, have you ever been in a serious, like, a really, really serious relationship on this level before? Yeah, I, I did. Well, how many times? Like, one. One time. So he was the second person you've been in a serious relationship like this on this level? Yeah. Okay. But he, he's the, the first person I actually wanted to have a kid with. What? Uh, okay, I just want to. Why would a bitch ever want to have a fucking kid with fucking fresh? <laughs> Especially looking the way she look, bro. <laughs> like, come on, man. Oh, bro, this shit is fucking a comedy. From woman to woman, I just want to understand mm -hmm. if the fact that he wasn't like proposing to you or want marriage with you, why, the why you did you Call want to have out. a child with him? Call it out. Because I didn't care about the marriage. I never believed in marriage. Oh. So from my uh, perspective is if I'm in love with a person, I don't mind. And if I see the person is very connected with me and we have good chemistry and <laughs> personality and financially yeah. everything is good then for me it's fine you know yeah, he was a lick and uh, he he's not uh, for me like i never sees him as like he's a rich man because like where i come from i've seen so many rich people i could have many choices it's just a feeling that I'm with him. He made me so happy and he's so romantic. And I I liked his lifestyle, I guess. That's why. So when there you, you... I liked his lifestyle. That was it. Selling a fucking dream, bro. Come on, man. Come on, man. She think we out here looking like Willie Lump Lump, bro. From the fact she looked the way she looked, screenshot and recording shit, trying to like drag her through the mud you love buddy like that you wouldn't be moving like this right now so quick you know what i'm talking about it's cap you're trying to get that check and uh yeah, you're trying to capitalize off this shit, bro you like, look like you went to the wrong channels you should have reached out the album preach <laughs> you would have got paid it handsomely if a, if a check what you're looking for Ooh. um when it when your identity was exposed to his audience what did you think what he did as for work on his show and the things that he said as a man about women how he felt about women like yeah. what did you All right, okay anyway um <laughs> anyway um there's that Fresh and fit do what fresh and fit do, dog. You gotta take what they say with a grain of salt. Well, no, no, nah, fuck that. So, like I say, I'm, I don't want to shit on a lot of the messages that they say. A lot of that shit be real. A lot of that shit be bullshit, dog. But it's it's the messenger, and if the messenger is not doing what they're fucking saying, then that should be an issue, right? But anyway.